Hey everyone, it's Phil. To download Python, go ahead and type python.org in your web address bar and hit enter. We'll end up on the Python homepage here. Head to the downloads tab and we're just gonna grab the recent version, Python 3.9. Click that in the exe, we'll jump up in your downloads. Once that loads, give it a click. All right, right down here, we wanna click add 3.9 to path or whatever version you're installing. That ensures that your variables are set up correctly from the get-go. Go ahead and click install now and you're good to go. Okay, the download has finished. We can go ahead and close this. Head to your command window of whatever operating system you're on. If you're in Windows, this is CMD. Okay, we open this up. Now if you type in PY, PY, hit enter. There it is, so Python 3.9. That's what we just downloaded, okay? And now that we type PY, we've essentially told you know, Windows here, hey, we want to execute Python. So we can start doing different functions and start inputting things here. I think we should be able to do, let's try print. We can do the class like hello world here. Let's try that and there it prints hello world. This is the simplest version of the programming language, but of course it's very difficult to create long running scripts in, you know, just the immediate command prompt. So we're gonna go ahead and get an IDE. Okay, that's an integrated developing environment that is much, much, much easier to code in. To do this, let's get out of our command prompt here. I'm gonna be using PyCharm. PyCharm is, is nice, it's free. Go in here and we can go ahead and click download. And we want the community version. Okay, professional one, I think you have to end up paying for. Yeah, it's a free trial. The one on the right is the community version. It's free, it's open source. This is exactly what we're looking for. There we've got the exe downloading and then we'll go ahead and run that once it's here. Okay, the exe is downloaded. Go ahead and click that. Yep, and we'll just go ahead and give it all the, uh, the defaults. I want a, a launcher, a desktop shortcut. And go ahead and install. Now PyCharm has downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and just run this to show you guys really quick what this looks like. Within PyCharm, oh, let's see, um, no, no settings to import, of course, to start here. I'm gonna skip all the, same of the defaults, you can go through those if you want. Okay, so here's PyCharm, new project to start. You give it a project name. I'll just do PyTutorials. All these look good, interpreter-wise. We've got a base interpreter already, which is our Python 3.9. Good, and we can create that project. Okay, and here we are, and it gives us a little sample main.py, so a .py file is the script file that we're working with, right? We can type a lot of lines of code here as opposed to just typing that one line by one line like we saw in the terminal command window of Windows. And to run your files, you can go ahead and hit the run button and it pops up and this is where your output comes from your code. This was the location of the file we just ran, this that one right here, and then beneath that, is the actual output. Now we'll get into this more through the tutorials, but this is your basic PyCharm setup and you've already got Python now, the interpreter. Let's go ahead and jump to the next video.